Everybody represents New York like Hot 97. What's going on, everybody? It's the finisher, Mr. C. And today, March 9th, 2012, marks the 15th year that we lost the greatest rap of all time, the notorious, glorious B.I.G. Here's one of my favorite B.I.G. stories. You know, I was in the fall off period, as we say in hip hop. You know, phone was off, I had rent due, and I had really nowhere else to turn. And my uncle, who was my landlord, was like, yo, if you don't come up with this rent, nephew or no nephew, I'm kicking you out the house. When Enough finally put me in touch with Big, me and him talked on the phone, and I just started bawling out crying on the phone. And he was like, what the, what the fuck are you crying for? I was like, yo, my rent, my rent is due. I ain't got nowhere else to turn. I never even told him how much money I needed for rent. He was like, yo, go see my accountant on Monday. And he had a $10,000 check waiting for me. That's the type of dude Big was. Wake up. Hey yo, what up, y'all? It's your boy Lil C's, aka Caesar Leo. Shout out to Mr. C for putting something special together and for help creating BI to the world. I guess I was a combination of House of Pain and Bobby Brown. I was jumping around and jumping around. You heard this before? Never get high on your own surprise. I love it when you call me Big Pop, but the show stop, but the rock drop, but. I'm interrupted by a doorbell, 352. Who the hell is this? I get some quick cops. Beretta inside the Beretta, nobody do it better. Bet I wet you like hurricanes and typhoons. All my life I've been considered as the worst. Lying to my mother, even stealing out a purse. He rep for the streets, but he did it with class. Fly fat, dude. AOC, I remember when Big just finished recording the Ready to Die album. I came through to his crib. Biggie was in his room dubbing tapes to give away to people his album for free. I was like, yo, what kind of crazy shit is this? You put all of this work into this album and you're giving away your shit for free. So Big said, hey, yo, boss, you bugging. If everybody in the hood is playing your shit, then it's going to seem like everybody in the hood is buying your shit. Now I know you used to sweep at the Parker Meridian, trips of the Caribbean, but tonight, no end. Good, you look fine. Like a wild face Rolex, you just shine. I like that waistline. Let me hit that from behind. Which one you wanna climb? My style genuine. If y'all know the song, A Story to Tell. On the second album, I started really overanalyzing some of his rhymes and some of his flows. So I got kicked out the studio one night, and then I snuck back in. So at the beginning, the story to tell, he says, Who y'all talking to, man? Because I was actually hiding behind the speakers. He didn't know I was in the room. But that's a playful type of attitude we used to have. Everything was just laid back. We was having fun to the fullest. We was buying the most you could buy, drinking the best drink you could drink, traveling on the biggest jets, ripping down the biggest arenas. You know, some young men living life, getting some money for the first time, doing everything you dream to do. Big was always in a joking, jovial mood. You kind of hear that on in the beginning of the story to tell. <laughs> Hanging with the niggas, no pay the bills. Every year broke a 30, give you look at the chills. So what we got to do is creep and see a sweet pick. Yo, you see that shit? Hell yeah, I see that shit. Colombian, Dominican, yeah, yeah whatever. whatever. Stick up, stick up, it's a stick up. What's up, y'all? Given the fact I never had the um, chance to work with Biggie personally, unfortunately, my best highlight for me involving Biggie would be the first time I got a chance to actually be on a Biggie Smalls album, which was um, Born Again. I felt like solidified as a rapper. Like, there was no other rapper that could have told me I was not a rapper. No, like, I was done from that. Like, I am a rapper. I'm on a song with Biggie. Like, living or dead, I'm on a song with Biggie. Like, period. It was all a dream. I used to read Word Up magazine. Oh, you cool, baby. Look, you don't get, this picture's gonna be on YouTube. I'm taking it with that little camera. All right. Okay, I gotta do one thing before I go. This is my homeboy. Ain't here to rock these halls the way I know he would've. We gotta sing so loud. We gotta sing so loud for my boy B.I.G. Yeah, this album is dedicated. 
We got to sing so loud. Pop boy Joyce got to be inside Carnegie Hall tonight. I was trying to call the police on me when I was just trying to make some money. So I need everybody here to sing along with us. And all of us did in the struggle. You know what I'm saying? He gonna hear us all the way from heaven. It was. It was.